Hey everybody, it's your old pal Mike here. Just thought I'd uh, lend a hand with something that I couldn't find a video for. Uh, this is how to make some Windows XP uh, system recovery disks. Um, on my particular machine, which is an HP tower with Windows XP uh, Media Center Edition, um, I finally figured out how to get to the part where you can make your your system recovery DVDs. You're going from start all programs, PC help and tools, HP PC recovery D CD DVD creator. So this may not this may not be the same way it works on your tower, but I'm just going to click on that right now. Uh, hopefully, I can help somebody else. Um, I'm going to get to this part here. Somebody else who's having this problem, you know, maybe I can help you at least uh, if you have a similar tower that I do. Uh, maybe I can help you out here. Sorry, I'm stumbling all over my speech. I don't, I don't script my vids. So we get to this part. I'm going to just click next. Uh, looks like it says collecting files, rising, verifying disk. I'm just going to go next. I got my stack of uh, stack of recordable DVDs over here, so I can make them. Uh, looks like I'm going to only need two DVDs to do this one. Uh, I haven't put the DVD in yet, so I'm going to click OK here. Collecting files to write to disk. OK, so I'm going to let this run its course here real quick, and then um, rejoin me in a second, and I'll kind of we'll walk through this together. Alright my friends, after a few minutes I've gotten up to 55%. Uh, in the meantime I've got my uh, DVD-Rs ready. And I'm going to stick one in, in the drive. I guess I'm only going to need two of them for this one. Um, at the moment I haven't got a whole heck of a lot on this computer, which is probably why I'm only going to need two discs. Um, got a whole mess of stuff on my laptop that took about four disks. So it's going to depend on depend on what sort of files uh, I should say the amount of files that you have on your computer, how long that this process is going to take, and how many disks you're going to need. Uh, and if if I may say while I'm thinking about it, if uh, the uh, the procedure I'm showing you isn't exactly the way your tower is going to work. In other words, if the steps that I've done aren't the same steps as the tower that you have or the laptop that you have, um, it probably won't help to ask me questions in the comments section. Uh, sorry for saying this, but I probably won't be able to help you. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm just kind of meandering through this myself and uh, making this video in hopes that it'll help someone who at least has you know, a similar tower. Uh, if the steps I'm taking will help you, that's great. If they can't, I'm sorry if I can't help you. So, uh, okay, once this gets to 100, I'm going to guess that it's going to ask for a disk, and uh, we'll rejoin this video at that time, which will only be a couple of seconds for you. Okay, friends, as expected, uh, it uh, wrote all the temporary files that it needs to write to the DVD. It's now instructing me to labeled my disk properly, which I've done. Sorry for the camera shaking. And uh, I'm going to close the tray here, off camera. Then I'm going to click on OK. And I expect that it'll begin to work. And we'll just hold on here to see how that all transpires. Insert your favorite music here. I thought I should take a minute to just make a note that uh, for some reason after I put the DVD in that uh, it took a couple minutes for the DVD to actually start to write so I guess there's no need to panic if uh, if it takes a couple minutes before your DVD starts to write. Originally I thought that something was wrong that this was not going to start writing to the DVD but again after a couple of minutes it did. It did start to write to the DVD so we'll rejoin this in a few minutes which will just be a second for you. Alright folks, so we've finished up the writing part on disc number one or two. Uh, the writing was finished like I just said. 
Uh, now we're going for the verifying disk part. And as you can see, that just hit 100. So I'm pretty sure this is going to spit out disk number one, and then it's going to ask for number two, which I'm going to place in. Let me just tell you something, folks. I hope if you're going to attempt this, you got to have a couple hours to spare. Uh, this just this is a long, long process. So it takes a lot of patience and a lot of time. So wait till you have a day off, or you just got a whole bunch of time to do nothing with. But uh, it's really worth it to do these uh, these recovery discs because if your computer ever crashes, like a couple of mine did not too long ago, uh, these are just awesome to have. These recovery discs. But what I mistakenly thought was the verification the first time, I don't know what that was. That went by quickly, but now it's saying file verification in progress. We're still on disk one of two. Like I said, folks, long process here. Um, I think my next video would be how to keep yourself busy and prevent yourself from going insane while you're making your recovery disks. So we'll, uh, we'll rejoin on this soon. All right, this first disk has been finished burning. Uh, we're pretty much getting to, it's collecting the files to write to disk number two. Uh, folks, if I was to continue this video, it would be pretty much just just repeating the steps that we've already seen for disk one of two. So um, I think I'm going to wrap it up right here. I mean, it's uh, basically just repeating the steps for this disk and, um, you know, click and finish at the end. So um, I think I've gotten the point across. I've hoped I, I hope I've helped some of you who also have uh, HP towers like the one I've got. Um, I hope I helped you, and if uh, you need different steps in your com computer, please, you know, just uh, refer to other videos on this site. All right, folks, that does it for me. Thanks for watching. So long.